RJ the Science Guy. R, 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 R. RJ the Science Guy. Science rules. RJ the Science Guy. Inertia is a property of matter. R, 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 RJ the Science Guy. RJ the science guy. Well, I guess a good place to start out with is the sun. All of the planets orbit around this giant ball of gas called the sun. Haha, <laughs> okay, I said gas. Very funny. So anyway, the planets orbit around the sun. So the planets are essentially heated by the sun. Which means Pluto is really, really cold. But one planet is just right. So right, in fact, that the Earth is the only planet we know of to be in the Goldilocks zone, a special place in the solar system that has enough temperature and the perfect atmosphere to support life. Think of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or in this case, Goldilocks and the Three Planets. The Sun is at the center of our solar system. Without that, we wouldn't be alive. We've got the asteroid belt that divides the inner and the outer planets. It's around the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. That's 500 million miles. That's like a gazillion RJs. The asteroid belt's very important. Asteroids! It's meteors, you name it. The inner, or terrestrial planets, include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are the sole places that contain the Goldilocks zone, which is the most positive for life. Past the asteroid belt contains the Jovian planets, or called the outer planets. Named due to their largeness, these planets are primarily mostly made of gas. That's right folks, it's the first planet Mercury. Mercury is hot, about 850 degrees. Mercury isn't too big, just a bit bigger than our own moon. Since Mercury has no atmosphere, it is riddled by craters on the surface. Bleh! I might need to get a gas mask on. Venus's atmosphere is a world of poison, so there's no way you'd be living there. You thought that your day was long? Well, my friend, a day on Venus is 241 Earth days. Earth, in a sense, is a world full of water. About two-thirds of the Earth is pure water. Actually, to be honest, a day on Earth isn't 24 hours. It's actually 23 hours and 56 minutes. You know, we don't know much about our big blue planet. We still can't get down to the depths of our oceans. Earth is the only place we know to actually have life. Or is there? Definitely an important planet as of late. Mars is a big red planet. Not due to the aliens, but because of the iron oxide. Mars actually has water and ice discovered on it. Our rovers search diligently for any forms of life that may be on the planet. Hmm. NASA's thinking of sending people to Mars in the 2020s. They're actually accepting video applications. I bet I could make a video like that real easy. Jupiter is a huge planet, about 88,730 miles in diameter. If you want to scream a gigantic Happy New Year each year, well, it won't exactly come often. A year on Jupiter is 11.9 years. Jupiter, due to the strong gravitational pull, has 67 moons. Some might even be capable of hosting life. It has also three faint rings. Jupiter is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. It also has a giant red spot, which has been thought to be raging for 400 years. It can actually fit two Earths into it. Saturn, as I've stated before, has rings. Seven ring systems to be exact of pure ringy goodness. The rings are primarily made up of rocks, ices, and gases. Speaking of gas, Saturn is very similar to Jupiter, as it has a very, very gassy surface. You thought your day was quick? Well, a day on Saturn is only 10.5 hours, so you'll be running around to get stuff done. Now that I've done my onion rings, let's talk a little about the next planet. Now before we start talking about this planet, there's something you should know. Over the years, 
It's taken countless years for researchers to determine the correct pronunciation of this planet. So, to avoid any controversy, we're going to have Google speak the name of the planet. Take it away, Google! Uranus. Thanks, Google. You're welcome, RJ. Uranus. This is definitely a very strange planet. Uranus. This is methane gas. Makes it very blue. Robin's egg blue, to be in fact. Uranus. This has many small rings, but not nearly as many rings as Saturn. It is thought that Uranus may have been tilted 90 degrees by an abnormally large object, resulting in many strange seasons. Neptune, as far as we know, is the last planet in our solar system. But RJ, what about Pluto? We will talk about Pluto later. We are talking about Neptune right now, so just deal with it! Anyway, Neptune is a very oddball planet. It does seem kind of similar to Uranus. It's with the same blue color and the methane gases, but it's actually very different. Neptune has a normal rotation, and it's sad because no one will ever experience a birthday on Neptune because one year is 165 years, so no one ever lives that long. There is a dark spot on Neptune, too. It's actually similar to Jupiter's, but it's very windy and fluctuates in size. Yes. Sadly, Pluto is not a planet anymore. In 2006, it was taken off the throne as the ninth planet. Pluto is very far out there. 3.67 billion miles away from the sun. It's very cold and very desolate. Recently, we had our first quality images of Pluto. Pluto isn't even as big as our own moon. There are many enormous things in our solar system, but the largest just may be human curiosity and our capacity to explore and discover. And I know every single one of you has the power to take part in the mission.